maybe the laws change, the something changes very, very fast. So uh, we can't provide this kind of service. So we have to let users uh, Mm. Let, let the users have to uh, provide their, their contents and modify their contents. In this case, after uh, evaluating um, different solutions, we have to choose Plomino. Plomino because uh, is uh, uh, tools that allow users to build forms in a very easy way, customized forms. And Plomino also provides the uh, back office, the business logic of uh, application. So with Plomino, we can do uh, forms. We can provide uh, business logic server side. Uh, this uh, it's mean uh, um, on save. I can uh, check uh, my field. I can uh, raise an event. So this is different level of uh, function that you can activate events. But uh, it's very, very uh, simple for a user that has not a big skill in developing to do this. OK. Um, of course, in the last years, the importance of uh, mapping is growing, is growing up because uh, uh, the main problem when I started to do this work many years ago, the first problem wa was, okay, where, where I can find my data, where I can find my map. It was very, very expensive to have, uh, for instance, uh, uh, era image or satellite image. We bought uh, images from uh, Russia <laughs> to provide uh, satellite images to our uh, municipality. But uh, with the Google Maps in the last years, last few years, everything changed. And the approach to a map has changed because uh, uh, I believe that 10 years ago, if I uh, ask somebody, oh, do you need a map? No, how okay. can I don't need a map? Today, everybody needs a map. When I arrived here in Brasilia, the first thing was, okay, I have to show a map of Brasilia and the world. Where is this? Where is that? So I believe that uh, uh, it's important also for plum developers and for plum integrators to, uh, to have a um, more uh, friendly approach with GIS information because today there is no, no many solution in integrating in Plon to manage this kind of, of information. Um, we have also, we have data and we also have the uh, libraries. Open layers, for instance, is a, a, a library that uh, per allows user to Create is not so simple, but allow user to create uh, uh, maps, client maps uh, in uh, JavaScript. Uh, other libraries are provided from Google Maps. Mm, Google Maps client is a good solution if you have no problem with uh, license. Um, another uh, good uh, library is Leaflet. Ah, okay. Uh, I want to introduce. I want to introduce you uh, a presentation that a friend of mine, Giorgio Borelli from Italy, has done in uh, in uh, Arnon in the last conference. We had a very very fast uh, introduction because uh, there is not my, <laughs> this is not my slide and uh, this is not my work, but uh, only to show you what uh, uh, you can. Uh, okay. Uh, in a uh, very fast uh, way. Um, the ask is, oh, where is my content? So you have a content type, you have contents, and uh, you have to 
uh, provide this map on, uh, on your content type. So the idea is, uh, okay, let's uh, uh, attach, let's conf we can attach, you can create a field, an attribute in uh, each content type and to uh, store geometric information. Um, in this case, we can call, we can call, uh, uh, we can speak of a plone as a CMS with the zero referenced object. Um, okay, this, I believe that this slide is, uh, is little old, but the, the, it's updated, the content, do you? Well, maybe. Uh, you can find that this product, Call of Duty is a collection of uh, uh, application modules can, that can uh, that allow the integrator to put map on uh, portals. Okay. Mm, okay. This is story of uh, Giorgio. Uh, you have to find something that was easy and extendable, and uh, issues is all the same. Okay, this is a brief uh, overview of uh, use cases, uh, maps in a prompt portal with uh, archetypes and quality geo. Mm, he, he implemented uh, this uh, extension also in Dexterity, so you can create a behavior in which uh, you, you have uh, the extension of your uh, object with uh, uh, geographic information. Mm. Uh, Quality Geo provides also library to uh, drawing tools, library to uh, draw, to add uh, points, lines, and polygons uh, using uh, Open Layers API. This is uh, another uh, example, interesting, because uh, uh, it inter integrates a flex topic. It's a grid uh, that uh, shows your content uh, in a map. So you have, a, a, your, for instance, you have a folder. In each folder, you have contents. Each content uh, has a geometric attributes that uh, you can see on the map. And the information is, uh, um, you can find information in the grid. This is another use case, more complex, in which the page implements something, querying tools. Oh, yes. This, uh, uh, you can provide in this interface not only open layers client, but you can use Google Map and leaflet. Okay. Oh, this is, uh, you can, did you see this? Oh, uh, a brief, uh, uh, it's uh, rapidly, very, very fast. Uh, you can find the documentation on this site. And uh, you, I am not a plone developer, so, <laughs> oh, let's go. Okay, um, from the model. Okay, this is the library that you use. Okay, the, this is the components. We have uh, open layers, CGO open layers that let you have uh, uh, the open layers environment in your Plum portal. So if you install this uh, pack, uh, you, you have already uh, open layers uh, with uh, the basic library installed. Uh, College Geographer allow you to have uh, to extend your content type with uh, geographic information. Uh, Quality Geo settings uh, provide uh, a user interface to set your position, your map, uh, settings your uh, starting uh, configuration of your maps. Quality Geo map widget uh, provides a uh, friendly interface for your map and uh, content location and GeoKick ML allow you to uh, use a service provided by Google Maps uh, and, uh, and uh, export data in HTML format. Okay, this is uh, open list layer and uh, uh, you can provide this uh, in, uh, configuration, in the configuration uh, uh, files of uh, Quality Geo. 
uh, this uh, is the description. You can uh, read the documentation because this is not the okay. The default settings. Uh, you have seen the more the uh, college geo settings, and this is the option that you can provide center, zoom level, which layer you can you have to add to your map, and so on. College geo map widget is the, this is the description uh, map. This is the code. Oh, yes. Dexterity. Dexterity, this is very interesting because he provides in the last month, last few months, he has provided this kind of behavior. So each Dexterity content is extended with the, with the geographic information. OK. This is a, a brief uh, description of other extensions. Uh, for instance, map content, is you can configure your uh, open layers here in uh, rich text. Uh, Geofile, providing uh, uh, export uh, AKML uh, in uh, this format. And uh, this is, this is I, I want to show you this, uh, this slide because uh, I believe that is are very interesting. And uh, you can find this uh, on uh, Google. Well, Googling uh, uh, where is my content, you can find it in an easy way. Where is my content? The title of presentation. Uh, yes? OK. OK. Uh, we are talking about uh, uh, our story in uh, uh, putting map on, uh, on blue. Uh, this is an example of uh, uh, a simple application that we have, we don't, we didn't this application. Um, the guys in uh, my office for uh, stage uh, want to uh, he, he has a project uh, uh, show the uh, shadows all over the world uh, for the child, for school. And uh, he uh, did this uh, uh, project alone without uh, knowledge about uh, Plone developer or uh, developing Plone or so on, using only Plomino and uh, his experience. So. You have seen a Plomino uh, field that uh, provides all information in map. In this case, we can see all information that a child all over the world insert uh, about uh, the position of shine, uh, the sun sh shadow. And uh, ah, okay, um, this only to uh, let you know that is very very simple to uh, develop a lightweight application with plumbing and plone and uh, map approach is map approach okay this is my work i provide a, a complex map with complex tool query tools uh, to network easy for instance so the problem was uh, how can i uh, manage this in a better way using con using a content manager uh, because uh, it's not so so simple, but the uh, issues was okay. I have to integrate in Plone because I want to use the easy security and, uh, and so on. Oh, this is another example of uh, application providing uh, uh, mapping data from. Uh, uh, municipality, analysis tool, uh, for instance, uh, marine, coastal project, uh, only to show you the use case that uh, we have in, uh, in Italy. Okay, uh, we have, um, in the last years, we have developed a solution, uh, for instance, uh, called Distance Online, to let uh, 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 citizen uh, compile forms and for requesting uh, something else, uh, I don't know, maybe you have to break uh, 
uh, street, uh, you, to have to work, uh, uh, to do some work, uh, you have to uh, request a permission to municipality. So you can go to uh, plan a portal or municipality, uh, compile forms, and then you can uh, set your, you can draw your polygon. Mm. I presented this uh, in, uh, in other talk, but uh, only to let you know what kind of uh, application we develop. And uh, all this uh, application is uh, uh, provided by Plomino and uh, Plom. OK, this is uh, uh, another uh, screen, print screen in which uh, we can see that uh, uh, the, in the back office, uh, we can uh, have a powerful uh, tools to um, for the key, for process of the key decision maker, uh, maybe allow this uh, kind of uh, operation, this kind of work, or not allow. Okay, now I introduce uh, my friends, uh, Eric Viau. Uh, hello, my name is Eric, and Roberto kindly asked me to um, participate to this talk and present Ur on the uh, use case of map in, into Plone. So just quickly, uh, Ur solution is most of the time based on leaflet, so not on Google Maps, or not on open layers, but leaflet. As leaflet is um, quite nice, it's really small library, it's uh, mobile compliant, well, all very good uh, stuff to build, um, well, let's say, um, public website, okay? So, to use uh, leaflet in Plone, you have two ways. Um, collective GS leaflet, which is a package which provides a library, basically. Or the new one, the new, the new approach based on mockup. So uh, you probably heard about mockup uh, this year at the conference. I have packaged leaflet into um, a mockup extra package. So I'll just show you really quickly what it does. Excuse me. Okay. Okay, so um, with mockup, the principle is you just put a markup, an HTML markup, and you get your um, JavaScript binded to that, and it, it just works. So here, I don't know if we can see. I have just this small markup, and I get this map. So that's a marker, a div with, with um, information about what marker I want to display, and I get a map, okay? And that's a dynamic map. I can uh, move and so. Here, the very same thing, but with a search feature. So I just add search Google, and I get the Google search mechanism integrated into my leaflet, just that way. Other example here is, uh, okay, um, we are using, yeah, we, you can set zoom and uh, the center, etc. All the, par the parameters to set your leaflet are injected into your DOM and that's it. And lastly, yeah, a polygon. You can draw a polygon, so you have this kind of markup. Okay, it's quite EV, but still just a markup, no JavaScript, okay? So that's um, leaflet into mockup. Now, uh, leaflet is also integrated into Plomino. So Roberto mentioned Plomino in, in uh, his different um, use cases. Um, Plomino is a really simple tool to build application yourself if you're not really a developer. And uh, with the leaflet Plomino integration, you can just have a new field type, which is a map. So you have your form, you'd say, Okay, let's put a map here, and you get a map. That's all. So that's just simple as that. You click and add a leaflet map, you get a map. And you can edit content, you can draw stuff like markers or polygon or whatever, and it's gonna be saved into your application. So it's really, really simple to build your own um, map application without being a developer at all. 
So that's an example of what we have, we have been doing with uh, Leaflet and Plumino. Uh, that's um, a database to, uh, to get the list of all the volunteers able to clean a shoreline when there are um, pollution, oil pollution in the Mediterranean area. So that database allows to get the list of all the, the volunteers all over the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, this one is about um, flooding alerts. So in France, you can uh, subscribe to such point of the river. There are, there are some, uh, some rivers with a station to observe the, the level of the water. So you can subscribe to that directly through the map, and you get SMS message when there is a flood alert. So that's quite simple. Um, that one is based on Google. So it's not, it's not leaflet-based, but still Plumino. And that's basic, um, basically a real estate website. It has been built by um, Plone integrators, so not actual Plone developer, let's say. And they did that really easily. So that's, that allows, of course, to find a home to, to sell uh, across um, the country. This one is more complex. It's a tourism application to plan a trek in the mountain, uh, get your hotel, uh, get, um, I don't know, horses or bikes or whatever. So you can see all the trek on, on the map, uh, have the information about it, and just pick the, the one you want and print it at the end. So that's all uh, Plumino based, and that's a nice, uh, a nice dynamic interface. So you can pick all the the component of your of your tracking, and that's pretty much it. So okay. you want to conclude? Okay, thanks, Eric. Uh, so we have we want to show you uh, use cases of uh, that we solve today and you know, every day in uh, our uh, for our customers because uh, uh, we are more GIS uh, developers and uh, he has uh, uh, more experience in Plone. Uh, we have to go um, you know, with the, we have to provide a uh, best integration uh, in Plone. And I hope that uh, uh, Plone developers can uh, help uh, and in, this, uh, in this process because uh, I believe that maps uh, are in the future um, more and more important. Okay, if you have a question. The microphone. Um, some of the more complicated uh, Plomino ones, there was obviously a lot of JavaScript. Did you put the JavaScript into Plomino itself or Diazo or where, where does it, uh, it sit? And how, how much can be done with just uh, Plomino without putting your own JavaScript in? Okay. Uh, so yes, the JavaScript is managed into Plomino. I mean, when you add a, a, film, a leaflet map field, you have some text area where you can enter your own JavaScript to configure the leaflet the way you want, but it's already pre-filled with, with a basic version which just works. So you have an open street map layer, and you have the ability to put markers and polygons and so on. And if you want to change that, if you want to use another a map as, uh, I don't know, Google or your own map, not uh, just uh, OpenStreetMap, or if you want to change the, the, the buttons on the leaflet interface, you can put your code directly through the Plumino interface to change that. But of course, you have to know about leaflets, so you have to learn about the API and so on, which is quite simple, by the way. So, But if you just put your field, it's going to work anyway, because the JavaScript is already generated by Plumino's right way, so if you don't need to change it, it's just work. Someone else? Uh, I, I want to say uh, another thing, because uh, um, for a question that, uh, um, how can I manage my data that I, I have put my data in Plumino database? Always we, uh, if we haven't uh, to manage many data and uh, you store vector data on uh, Plumino database, so in the formal, in a vector uh, format, uh, there is no problem. If you have to, if you have to manage a large amount of data, uh, I believe that uh, the best solution is uh, 
to uh, have a mirror of uh, your data on a PostgreSQL with PostgreSQL extension. And uh, in this way, we can have uh, normalized data in normalized data in uh, SQL uh, language on uh, your Plum in a Plum solution. And uh, you can uh, mirror, you can put your data in a PostgreSQL database in a uh, denormalized way. So in this way, you can provide your maps with uh, web services, uh, maybe WMS, WFS, in very efficient way because data in PostgreSQL are denormalized. And you can provide the uh, data in uh, edit editable in a normalized way in the, uh, the Plomino forms. I mean, we work in this way and uh, we have a kind of satisfaction. Uh, all is very, very uh, easy to manage and uh, the, the data are always in the PostgreSQL database. It's a, this is a standard way of uh, doing this in JS uh, application, of course. Any other question? Okay.